Welcome back to 2 News at 430, where we are keeping an eye on your money. You know, many people say that tipping culture is just getting out of control. And one coffee shop in Salt Lake decided to do away with tipping. I'm sorry for laughing because... <laughs> A little side eye. He's giving me the side eye because... <laughs> He is so over the over tipping culture. That's it. So Christina Flores <laughs> went to Three Pines Coffee Shop to ask them why they don't take tips from customers anymore. Jim is not the only one. The owner at Three Pines feels that tipping is outdated. So he's gotten rid of tips for customers to make it easier for them. But mostly he says he's doing it for his workers. At Three Pines Coffee in downtown Salt Lake, Customers can always expect a good cup of coffee. My thing is I want the espresso and the drip coffee to just be expertly dialed. What's no longer on the menu is tipping. Since when are we tipping for everything? So I definitely feel tipping fatigue. Owner Nick Price says the main reason he got rid of tipping is his workers. Because we get pretty busy in the summer, tips are pretty good. And then we get a little slower in the winter and tips are pretty bad and I didn't feel like it was right for my employees to be making less money in those slower months. So to abolish tips, he raised prices by about a dollar a cup. The tip is essentially included in the price already. So the prices up on the board are exactly what you pay. That allowed him to raise worker pay from $8 an hour to $18 an hour. Yo, good to see you guys. Everett, who's been working here for two years, doesn't miss turning the computer screen around to prompt customers to tip. It was awkward. But he loves earning more per hour. I know how much I'm going to bring home, and it's really comforting um, because tips can be very volatile. And customers like Pickle Williams say they like it. I think that's a good solution. I think tipping got really out of hand. I'd rather just pay the higher price. Price says the no tipping policy has been in place for about 30 days, and so far it's working. He'll let it brew a little longer, before deciding if it's permanent. I look forward to seeing if any other businesses in Salt Lake kind of jump onto this because I, I do think people are sick of tipping and this is the future of our industry. And Price says he doesn't like the idea of businesses paying workers low wages and expecting the customers to make up for the rest of that in tips. So he knows of two other businesses here in Salt Lake that have already moved away from tipping. So we'll see if it catches on. Christina Flores, KUTV 2 News.